All right, boys and girls, remember how we talked about um, this year we became amateur entomologists. Entomologists or etymologists? I can't even remember. Entomologists. Entomologists. Thank you for remembering. And so um, when I went shopping, which I am, you know, inclined to do, I find these very interesting things sometimes. And um, these are some bugs that I found uh, at Tuesday morning, this discount place. And at this price, I could not resist but to purchase them. They were dollar forty nine each for in for bugs that are some of them are dangerous, some of them are not, some of them just happen to be very big. But I got these uh, so that you could further your entomology studies. Each one was a dollar forty nine, and each one of these is encased in an acrylic block, and. They don't have any more if you were wondering, you know, well, can we get any more of these? I was like, no, I bought all of them. Okay, it comes with a case. Uh, it's a real bugs case. Um, and this costs $3.99. And inside of this case is a scorpion. So I will allow you guys to look at this. And it has all kinds of interesting information, but since it was such a steal of a deal, I figured since we are amateur what? Entomologists. Entomologists. It'll be kind of fun to see actual bugs. So here is the scorpion. Can you guys see the scorpion? There. Now it's up on the document camera. But here's the scorpion, and I'm going to open up the next one. So it's kind of like an unboxing video. Wow, a whole bunch of kids are looking. Uh, the next one is going to be a Japanese garden spider. And it comes with trading cards so that you can learn about the Japanese beetle. Hope I, hopefully I don't accidentally cut the trading card. So here's the next one. At a dollar forty-nine, these used used to be nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. So, how what percentage of that is it off? Like nine. It's eight dollars off, but what's the percentage? So, this is Japanese garden spider. Eighty percent? No. No, it's even greater. Ninety. Uh, it's close to ninety. I'd say eighty-five percent off. So, here's my scorpion, and these are encased in clear acrylic, which is a type of plastic. And isn't it interesting how we just used acrylic to do what? Paint. Paint. But that same acrylic molecule can be used for making clear plastic and encasing bugs. It's just this molecule used in a different way. So later on, here's another beetle. This is called the man face. How'd you know it's the man face? Uh, who's blocking my camera? LA. All right. This one right here is, as um, our buddy over here said, is a what? Man face stink bug. And here's the man face stink bug. It actually looks like the man's face. It looks like it sort of looks, looks like, like Elvis. Elvis. Yeah, it does. Okay. It looks like Elvis. It looks like a trilobite. Yeah. That's a dinosaur it looks though. Like Elvis. Yeah, it's a dinosaur. It's a tribal mask. Oh, a tribal mask. I would agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This one is a poly. These are the things you don't want in your house. Polyphaga cockroach. And again, it's a buck forty-nine. Is it still videoing? Yeah, we're at the four minute point. So here we go. Unveiling the polyphaga cockroach. It's different than our American cockroaches. It's chubbier, I mean wider, I guess, and different colors. I hate cockroaches. Here I pay a dollar forty-nine for it, but if it's in my house, I kill it. I said, I do not want you in my house. Now I can have it in the house, in the classroom, but I can't have it in my house. Okay, the next one is a red palm weevil. This is the mega version. Still a buck forty-nine. It's an even better deal, right? So we'll include the cards, and you guys could take a look at it maybe during free times or rainy days. 
You got to be careful when you're unboxing these because you can cut yourself with the plastic. There we go. It's supposed to look like that usually, but in the box it looks like that. And one more before we break on this video. This one's called the Longhorn Beetle. Now it doesn't even look like a. It's got a long horn, but whatever. And it's not a rhino beetle. That's what I was thinking. It's a longhorn beetle. Rhino beetle is different. Oops. That's okay. Boom. Look at how big that is. So there's that, and then there's that. All right, so I'm going to put these in this case that I got. Lights on. And this is the aftermath of the unboxing. How cool is that? We got six bugs and all their information. And what's 149 times 5 plus 3? This is the cost. Plus 349 or 399. 399 plus 149 times 5. Who's got the cost in their head? 399 plus, times 1. Because the case is 399. It was 1454 for this nice collection that the kids can study as amateur what? Entomologists. Okay.